Ooh, 27 is a bit too close, baby. We don't need to be that close. Okay, that's a good amount. So, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Girl, d d d I already know, I've been missing. But let me, let me, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. Basically, I thought I could work my ass off and still do YouTube and Instagram on the side. And my body said, no, 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 sweetie. You cannot work a nine to five. And additionally on the weekends and then try and do YouTube. So guys, I have sacrificed. I sacrificed my weekend work to film for y'all. Y'all better like this video and follow me on Instagram. That's all I gotta say, that's all I gotta say. So I am going into my Becca Ever Matte perfecting primer we're gonna see how primer goes usually i'm not one for a primer personally i just don't feel like primers are 100 percent necessary but we're gonna try these oh that is really that becca ever matte primer is really mattifying oh my gosh this primer is proper matte. I don't know if I like it. Do I like it or not? I don't know if I like it. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'm going into the Born This World Conceal Contour Highlight Retouch Concealer. Anyway. And next I'm going into the Fenty Beauty Hydration Longwear Foundation. And I'm just gonna you guys know, oh i think i put a bit too much of the dark color but you guys know i'm not like handed with my conceal with my foundations at all so i really just like to give a big old mix and see what we gonna get i think i picked the right foundation to go on top of this um mattifying primer <laughs> A girl got distracted. <laughs> I'm really, you gotta work with me. So I'm going into my medium tan tour by Huda Beauty. I absolutely love this color. This color, the medium, is gorgeous. I feel like the darkest color is just a bit too chalky and it doesn't like glide onto my face like this one does. And I love this to just warm up my face. Look at that compared to that side it's very very it's a subtle bronzer and then i do like to go in with a darker one to just darken it up and give me a little bit more of a contour but we are gonna blend this out onto our cheeks i'm not gonna put it on my forehead this time because i literally have no forehead space like where 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 are we going with that so i might just put a little bit of powder bronzer on the forehead at the moment and just, I just like to sweep it upwards. And then with this lot, just also do it on the jaw because we're trying to take a couple of pounds off, if you know what I mean. Just trying to remove some off whilst this concealer is drying because this concealer is actually very, very, very sheer. The more you leave a concealer on to dry, the more you're building up the coverage. I think I put on a bit too much on this side, but that's all right. You can just take it towards the eyebrow. Just take it towards the eyebrow if you need to. So for a darker contour, we're gonna go into Chocolate Teas by Fenty Beauty, baby. And you guys can just see like there's a slight difference when I add that on. Can you guys see it just ever so slightly? There's a little bit of a darkness there comes on i don't want to overpower and do too much but just a little bit so again I like to have my concealer a little bit lighter because I went into chestnut first and I'm gonna go into the Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 330. You guys know 330 and me. That's our shade, baby girl. And that's because I love to go a little bit lighter with the concealer. 
I don't like to put on too much. I kind of allow the concealer to, I'll put it on the inner bit of my eye and then I will drag that to other areas of my face. If that makes sense, does that make sense? Does that make sense? I think it makes sense, it makes sense. I've literally got things all over my hands. That's the thing about makeup, you get makeup everywhere. Girl, can you see how that's just brightened up my face? Yes. So obviously you have to make sure that everything is all blended out. So I'm gonna go into the Chanel Poudre Universal in the shade 30. I've actually never tried this. So today we're gonna test it. I don't think today's the day to be testing new products, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do that, that's what we're gonna do. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Okay. Ooh, look how that just soaked it up. Okay. Are we gonna have to add this as a staple? Ladies, are we gonna have to? Oh my gosh. It soaks up more powder than the Laura Murphy. I'm in shock. I've literally, I've jumped onto the Morphe Continuous Mist. I don't know what it is, I don't know why I wasn't using it before, but it just, the way it just gets your face snatched is really, it's really, it's, it's... Like, and it's not like a direct shh, shh on your face, like the mist, it just glides over your face. It doesn't apply too much spray onto your face, which is literally just absolutely gorgeous. I'm here for it. I'm absolutely up here for it. So I am going to go into, you guys know the only Fenty, the only bronzer that I use is the Fenty Beauty bronzer. And the Fenty Beauty bronzer I'm going in is the Mocha Mummy. I've, I've gone to other things. You guys know I love Revolution Pro in terms of bronzers if you're looking for a cheaper alternative. But for some reason, I always just come back to the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mummy. whilst I'm doing my cheeks I might just do a bit of blush and of course you guys know I really only use the Fenty Beauty cream blushes and it is in rose latte it's looking a bit dirty but that's just because I mix I've I, I be using it I be using it that's how you know if something is being used then the brush that I use actually causes it to get onto the white bit <laughs> So to bronze my, bronze my nose, I'm gonna go back into the Fenty Beauty and I'm just gonna sweep that there. We are going into the eyes. So the eyes, I'm going into just this brown, no, not this brown, this orange. I think, yeah, we're gonna do an orange. We're gonna do, you guys know, orange goes with orange all day, every day. So I'm just gonna use this as a transition color and I'm just gonna sweep it back and forth as well into my eye crease there. Just gonna sweep it back and forth and really build up on the color as well. So you don't have to, um, make sure you just tap off any excess. You don't have to pack on all that color straight away. Always build up on the color. So it just looks a lot more flawless as well. No, I don't understand. You never let me in. I know you ain't all this. Yeah, so next I'm gonna go into this shade called Crave and that is from the Huda Beauty, what palette is this? Nude palette. Let's see how it goes. If not, I might combine it with another color. So yeah, we're gonna go with Crave. See what type of color it gives us. Okay. Very, um, sparkly <laughs> and a lot of fallout <laughs> I like the eyeshadow it's not my favorite but we're gonna do something we're gonna try something new like it's not every day you know do the same colors so I'm gonna go back into the brown because I just feel like it was a bit too harsh 
So I'm just gonna, just to smoothen out the bits that we have here. Just gonna smoothen out the edge. to shop me and shopping just we just go a little bit too well and this is gonna be I said I'm gonna be on a spending ban we'll have to see because you guys know I attempting the no shop was it no shop November it just didn't work out for me but we're gonna try and reduce on the shopping but this is one of the last pieces this is the last piece it's not one of them this is the last piece that I'm actually gonna buy myself before I'm no longer shopping you guys will probably notice my channel I have not been doing any Zara hauls or anything because I'm trying to be on my best behavior we're not trying to we're not trying to shop over here we're trying to save our money you know I'm trying to be more responsible I didn't think I'll get to this point. But, guy, oh, girl, you better, you better take out all my makeup. So I have a Hermes unboxing. Yes, baby. I think it's my light. It's not liking it, but we'll do it like this. So I was gonna wait and just do a set unboxing, but I just thought, <sighs> It doesn't need to have its own video. I'm gonna show you guys how cute this piece is. Yes, can we appreciate this? Can we? Yes, we can appreciate this. You guys know I'm already hyped. So, I don't know if some of you follow, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I actually purchased this item. However, it didn't fit, like it didn't fit. And when I say it didn't fit, cause you guys know, I got some sandals, some black ones. And I got them in a size, so I'm a size 41. However, when I got the sandals in a size 41, they, for some reason, my feet said, heck no bitch. And my feet was hanging out the back. And I said, no, that's not cute. So getting hold of size 42 has been one of the most stressful things. Bear in mind, I bought this, those shoes last year and we're now in May sweetheart so anyways let me show you guys the shoes they're absolutely gorgeous these are the Hermes Enron sandals in the size 42 yeah it's size 42 yeah size 42 look how gorgeous these sandals are whoo and I thought well for summertime we gonna, we gonna need a little shoe, a little something, something. So what did I do? I I said I need a brown one and they fit perfectly. Definitely would recommend going a size up. I don't know if it's because I've gained weight that my feet are just made way more wider. I don't know what happened, but I had to go a size up. It was not fitting, I'm sorry. So definitely if you're, if, if, you, if you can go into store, obviously we can't go into store because we're in a whole lockdown. Well, the restrictions are lifting and I think we can actually go into store slowly. But when I bought these, we were not allowed to go into store. I got one of the essays at Selfridges to to um, to purchase these because I just, yeah, I, I, I didn't want to wait. I had this, this is, you guys saw this was on my wish list and check, check, we got the wish list. Ow. Obviously, I can't, I have to put a pause on the wish list. I'm actually going to be responsible, guys. Like... <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts. I swear my emotions change from like one moment to one moment to being responsible and living my best life. But yeah, and these are so, I haven't actually worn them outside, so I do need an opportunity to wear them outside, but they're really, really nice. They're comfortable and we'll have to test them and see how they do when I go into like London and I'm going out for a cute little brunch, got my sunglasses in and ready. I need some new sunglasses now. Can you guys see, can you see how my brain works? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me slash Hermes unboxing. Oh, well, Hermes, Hermes, is that how you say it? Hermes, Hermes unboxing. My French is awful. If you're not following me on Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter, what, what is you doing? We wait. In fact, have you even thumbs up this video? A whole, a whole bee has been in hibernation for a whole month and we back, we are ready, we are ready. So, better hit that like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys, bye. Uh, yeah.